What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Kid Tosh. Guys, I was gonna make an NBA recap video of last night. We had incredible games. The Lakers Rockets game, James Harden dished out 14 assists in the first half. They lost, but he went crazy at point guard. In the Toronto Detroit game, De DeMar DeRozan scored 40 points. Another very good game, blowout. But no game was as crazy and you might be just like these teams what Denver in New Orleans and it wasn't for anyone on Denver it was for one guy in New Orleans if y'all haven't heard about what Anthony Davis did last night you guys just are living under a rock if you're a basketball fan you didn't hear about what Anthony Davis did last night the guy put up stats that no one else has ever put up in a game, ever. I'm going to repeat that. Anthony Davis put up numbers that no player has ever put up. I'll just read the stat line. 50 points, 16 rebounds, 7 steals, 5 assists, 4 blocks. And you know what the funniest thing about this is? I mean, I couldn't even put up numbers like this in NBA 2K17, my career. I couldn't, and I don't think a lot of people could unless they're playing on rookie difficulty. So, you know, that's just a reminder of how crazy this was. They lost, but I'm not going to talk about that. This is cause for a Just How Good video, and y'all already know because, you know, titles. But I didn't think it would just be one game. It would only took me one game to make a video on Anthony Davis. I got to do it. I just have to. Anthony Davis is in his fifth season. Freshman drafted out of Kentucky. First overall in 2012 NBA draft. The guy put up at numbers of roughly 14 points and 8 rebounds. 2 blocks in his first season. Followed it up with 21 and 10 and 3 in his second year. And then in his third year he really broke out. And he put up 24 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 blocks, and let his team do the first playoff berth. You know, as the team being having the name the New Orleans Pelicans and his first playoffs, which he starred in. They didn't win any games. They got swept by the Warriors, but it was great. A great sign. You would love to see the guy in the playoffs for the first time. It means they're making progress, but then the next year, injuries hit, and they hit hard. 24 points per game and 10 rebounds. And two blocks on an off year for Anthony Davis that year. He only played 61 games. He's never had a 70-game 70, 70 season. The guy really is unfathomable as a big man in a changing NBA. People are sleeping on this guy. You know, we talked about the best players in the league or who you start your franchise with. That's That was, that was a question in the NBA GM survey. Apparently, Last year, when they asked this question, Anthony Davis was by far the best, the best one. You know, he was the guy. He ever want to start their franchise with Anthony Davis. But this year, no one. No one picked him. Why? Because last year, apparently, he fell off. Apparently, he didn't play good enough. He didn't progress well enough. Whatever. But this, th the fact that they lost tells me not something about Anthony Davis, but about their team. Anthony Davis can't win in New Orleans if the team is like this. They can't keep getting injured. They just have to stay healthy, and if they don't, then that's just too bad. They're not going to do anything over there. They need to sign some free agents because this guy, this guy is incredible. No one has ever done this. 50 points, 16 boards, 7 steals, 5 assists, 4 blocks. This is a power forward putting up numbers like this. In a changing game, Anthony Davis is clearly the greatest power forward in the NBA. There is no discussion. I don't care what you have to say about Draymond Green. I don't care what you have to say about LaMarcus Aldridge. I don't care what you have to say about Blake Griffin. Anthony Davis plays both sides of the ball. He is clearly the best mid-range shooter out of the group of them, maybe besides LaMarcus Aldridge. He has the jumper, the athleticism, the defensive ability. The block shot totals, scoring totals, rebound totals. He does everything. There is no weakness to Anthony Davis besides his injury problems, which can't be attributed to his overall skill in the game of basketball. It can't. Now, where does Anthony Davis rank among NBA players? I rank him eighth. Eighth best player in the NBA. And this is, he's just getting started. This guy is still young. He's still 23 years old. He's not even close to his prime. 
he's had injury issues. That's unfortunate. But the more this guy plays, the better he's going to be. And we all know that Anthony Davis, he only has great things in front of him. I mean, honestly, that game last night, I, you guys might be like, oh, it's just one game. He's not going to do that every game. No, he's not going to, but no one's ever done that. No one has ever done that. That's why. LeBron James has never put up that. Kevin Durant's never done that. Michael Jordan has never done that in his NBA career. That's, that's putting that into perspective. I know those guys are big men. Okay, Will Chamberlain hasn't done that. How about um, how about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Has he done that? No. Shaq? No, he hasn't done that. No one's ever done this. So, this, it's just gotta be... He's got to be special. He has to be special. So let's talk about Anthony Davis among power forwards. I said he was number one. He's the best out of any big man in the NBA. He's the best player in the NBA, not on a playoff team. And there's, it's not even close. Okay, Anthony Davis, he'll, he's crazy. He's crazy good. There's just not a lot I can say about him that we don't already know. But this game that he just put up, it's, he's revolutionizing the game of basketball. You know, y'all y'all might be sleeping on him because he hasn't been doing anything lately. But this game should wake y'all up. This game, I mean, over the offseason, no one's talking about Anthony Davis. Everyone's all on about Carl Anthony Towns. And the young players in the NBA that are going to take over the NBA. No one's thinking about Car- Anthony Davis. He's always an option. He's going to be one of the top five players in the NBA sooner than you think. And here's the fact of it. It's inevitable. As long as he stays healthy, this guy could be an MVP, multiple-time MVP, NBA champion once he gets some good players on his team. This guy is the best big man in the league. And he's going to be the best big man in the league for a long time until Carl Anthony Towns gets up there with him, which I don't know how long that's going to take, but for right now, it's all Anthony Davis. This guy is only going to get better. Look at his skill set. What is he not good at? That's why he's so great. There isn't a weakness to his game. Other than the injuries, if he's on the court and he's playing 100%, there's no weakness to his game. He's unflappable. The guy might not be a high percentage three-point shooter, high volume three-point shooter, but he's a big man. Remember, a big man. He doesn't have to shoot threes. He can shoot mid-ranges and still be a killer. It helps if he shoots threes, but he doesn't have to do that in order to be effective, in order to be unguardable. That's what he is. Guys, Expect a big season from Anthony Davis. Expect possibly a top five scoring, top three scoring. I mean, he could be up there with Westbrook and Harden in terms of scoring. He's going to be up there in shot blo- shot blocks. Probably going to lead all big man in steals. This guy is an athletic. I mean, did you see him bringing the ball up last night? He was sprinting in the fast break, running the fast break. And, and I, there's nothing else to say about it. <laughs> If you all want me to make a video on another player, just how good is player A, anyone, guys, just leave a comment. A video you want to see from me, just let me know. What do you want to see from me? This is, it was just crazy. <laughs> this is a crazy game. And uh, yeah, please leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment an idea down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.